According to a 2012 report by the UN Bat Convention on Endangered Species, elephant poaching levels are the worst in a decade, and recorded ivory seizures are at their highest level since 1989. Elephants have been, you know, they, they were the original blood diamond, and um, for since the first slave trade, they have been poached at extremely high levels. But Wasser is adamant that hard science can stop the slaughter. Many years ago, I, I realized when we had developed ways to get DNA out of the feces of wildlife, I realized that I could collect elephant dung samples across the continent of Africa and make a DNA map of their genetics for every country where they occur. And I thought if I could then get ways to get DNA out of ivory, we could match that DNA to the map and tell where the elephant was poached. Wasser's team was able to extract DNA from ivory. We have a tool to dramatically increase the efficiency of law enforcement because by figuring out where those major poaching hotspots are, if they are not as many as we thought, all of a sudden it becomes feasible to target law enforcement to those areas and to literally choke the main sources of ivory going into the trade. Saving the species is certainly a worthy enough cause just by itself. But the world's largest land animal also plays a vital role in tourism, economics, ecosystems, and even national security. What's also been happening is the terrorist involvement in the trade has grown enormously. And ivory is a great source of hard currency. In fact, now we believe that much of the ivory is just traded directly for arms. You don't even exchange the money. Wasser says if you can track poached ivory, you can also trace hotbeds of terrorist activity. This link between ivory and terrorism is now getting the attention of some very big players. It's come up to the level of, of the White House, so the president has just formed a wildlife crime task force because they have realized that this is a major threat to national security. So can Wasser's formula work? Extract DNA from a cache of illegal ivory, trace it back to Africa's poaching hotspots, focus law enforcement on those places, stop the killing, and in the process, dry up the terrorists' money source. It may, may work, and that would be big. We want to solve this problem within the next two years, but really we want to solve it within the next year. The thing is, you don't have to lose the last elephant. You have to lose enough elephants that the recovery is very difficult and the ecology can't recover and the impact will be irreversible.